Hi hey all and welcome to the video in this one. Does this keep happening to you? Well, I think I've found a bit of a fix. Okay, in this video, we are going to cover the new engine and how to, inverted commas, fix it. So this is not 100%, but it seems to have added a great deal of stability to the new engine for me. Now, I last year released a video on how to set up the vanilla engine correctly with the NVIDIA control panel. And this video also will be NVIDIA centric and the reason for that is I don't have an AMD card but there we are okay so first thing we're going to need is a little tool to mess around with the NVIDIA drivers so first off I'm going to type in NVIDIA profile in Spector there we go and top answer is guru of 3d so let's pop there so uh, Pretty damn decent site, doesn't give you any real problems. Just make sure you're downloading 2.1.20, which is support for network frame four or above. And if you have Windows 7, then you certainly have that. So it'll give you a couple of different options, more adverts, but hey, it is a pretty decent site. There we go, and it's downloaded. Now I downloaded to the desktop. So in the folder, you've got NVIDIA Inspector. So let's double click. It's pretty harmless. There's a lot of features and tools, but you can see here GeForce and the driver version you're actually using. If you click on this little symbol here, there we go. You've got your global uh, driver profile. You've also got five bazillion others. Now, if you look, and our key, oh, nothing. Yeah, there's, there's no kind of driver setup within the NVIDIA database for Anarchy Online, the new engine or the old one. So what uses basically the same engine? Well, it's a toss up somewhere between the Conan engine and the Secret World engine. Now on testing, we found that the Secret World engine seems to be about the best. So let's start typing that. The, there we go. And it's found it, the Secret World. You can see there's an awful lot of stuff that's been added by NVIDIA, etc., or however it's done, that adds a bunch of features. So if I click on this little icon here, add application to current profile. So we click on that, and then let's go to where our Anarchy Online folder is. Now, in my case, it's pretty much lived on the C drive since 2001 in some form or another. Scroll down and once again, we want the anarchyonline.exe and click open. Now that has now added Anarchy Online to that profile. Now in my case, I've got SLI running. Um, and if I go down, you'll find ambient occlusion was actually off. And all I did was use the drop down and just enabled and I've got it set on quality. You can go to high quality. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. It just makes some of the uh, lighting look pretty nice and then texture filtering qual quality I've set on high quality. So there we go. And then say apply changes. Okay, so that's step one done. So you can close all this down. Now normally to get to the NVIDIA control panel, you can either right click your desktop and click there or if you have NVIDIA experience, you can click on here and click open GeForce experience. Now drop open on various things like on mine, I've got a bit of an unusual system in, in that I'm running different SLI. So I've got a GTX 670 and 680 running in SLI. Yes, it does work. But we want to go to manage 3D settings to program settings. Now I've already done this so you can see here it's found the secret world anarchy online xe if it's not there click on add then you're going to want to blind even though these pop up in here tell it browse and again you can see i've already been in here so you go back to your anarchy online folder and once again 
add anarchy online.exe. And in my case, it hasn't added it because it was already there. And the only tweaks I've made in the control panel then is single display performance mode because I'm only using a single monitor and then power management because AO does not use a great deal of resources on the graphics card generally um, optimal power will power down the cards more often which can cause a lots of stuttering and stuff if you suddenly turn around in an area where there's a lot of activity and stuff for the graphics cards to do on one side and very little on another which is part of what causes the crashing this doesn't seem to work unless you add the profile though so we're going to say maximum performance texture filling i've set up on there as high quality as well and that's it job done now a little apply will come up if you actually make a change but as you can see i haven't actually changed anything because it was already set like this now that is done let's log into game Okay, so here we are in game, and I've just logged into this fixer of mine. And let's try a few areas to zone. You can see frame rate's pretty nice, 50 ish. It's quite busy here in Old Athen a lot of the time. Depends how many people are grouped around here. So you can see we're sort of dropping down to the 30s in this area. This many people in other areas, however, doesn't cause the problem. So, yeah. Let's do a bit of whompering. There's a few places that are notorious for crashing the game. This does not fix roam red, unfortunately. If you womp it from uh, Omnitrade to roam, yeah, it still crashes. Sorry, folks, I cannot find a fix for that. Actually, while we're here, let's just see Stella. Yeah, she looks blue to me. There we go. Got a nice little gauntlet buff. Right, okay, let's go Bliss. Okay, solid as a rock, and then Broken Shores. Notoriously, a lot of people do crash when they make this trip. No, we still seem to be in-game. The flickering you can see is because of SLI. If you don't have SLI, you don't get the flickering. Uh, where else might we go that may crash us? This is probably one of the worst. Let's go to wine. So, still alive. And still active. Now, another favourite, of course, is uh, breaking in Varmit Woods. Let's try that. Oh my god! We're still here and alive in Varmit Woods. Okay, let's try another one. Let's go to Wailing Wastes. No, we still seem to have an active client. All good stuff. It's not 100% though. I do need to stress that. Rome Red, like I say, nothing I do seems to fix that. So that one we shall have to leave for Funcom to do. Now overall performance wise, let's nip to Shadowlands. Okay, so here we are in Inferno Garden. Let's head out somewhere, not massively laggy, but a little laggy. Let's go to Frontier, see if we've got any bodies. And then, let's run up toward Ergo. Usually plenty of people there, and keep a bit of an eye on the frame rate. At the minute, running 70-ish. As we come out to some open area, it will probably cap. There we go, we're into the 90s. Yeah, so it, there you go. Basically, it, the frame rate is as high, more or less, as the, 100 is the absolute max that the game will reach. Okay, I'm going to be a little careful through these mobs. I don't want to run a ton of them into the trial area and hurt people, <laughs> if I can help it. So, there we go. Bouncing down. Still in the 90s. Going to tumble a bit now if there's anybody around. Not many, just for the moment. Bit of an odd time of day to be doing this. And even fewer here. There you go, still in the 70s with a few people around. Let's try Borealis. As generally speaking, you will find quite a few Omni there. It's basically become Omni 1. 
Finding neutrals in Borealis? Unlikely. All the Omnia there. Right, so let's whiz back to Rubicar. And here we are in the middle of nowhere, and that's why I logged a fixer for this. Okay, let's try Borealis. There we go. Plenty of bodies around here in the 40s. You can definitely get higher frame rates if you turn some of the graphics settings down. Um, I like them pretty damn high. And if you run the old engine, you pretty much stay at 100. And I totally failed at jumping on the wall. Yes, I did. I haven't played this guy in a little while. I need to. It's got apotheosis to do. So, yeah. There we go. Let's run through Bori. It's kind of lunchtime at the moment, so... Yeah, not a lot of bodies. There you go, loading in. 3840, not too shabby. Newland will probably be a ghost town. Let's go to Strett. And then Hope. Here we are here. Okay, let's go to Perpetual Wastelands. There we go, the water that isn't sure what level it's on. But you can see straight away, frame rate's solid enough, down to the 50s, but the ambient occlusion and all the other sort of prettification I've got set on is having a bit of an effect. Plus I've also tweaked balloon slightly, just to make nanos and stuff look more awesome. With all the trees, still no real problems with frame rate. Let's have a closer look at our vehicle. Yeah, you can kind of see there that all the detail, etc. is there. He doesn't look comfortable. I should get him a different kind of uh, plane, I think. All the trees. We're still in the high 40s, which is pretty darn nice. Okay, I think we've looked around enough here, so... Back to the grid. And where else could we take a quick look? Well, there's the ICC. But as we all know, the ICC is a killer on frame rate and will crash the game quite often. So let's see how we do. There we go. Holy frame rate Batman. Still in the 40s here. Let's run out to the main area. And probably drop to the 30s. Yep, there you go. Down to the 20s. Yeah, it, it's just one of these areas that needs to be optimized. But the engine is not crashing, which is great stuff. We like that. Yes, we do. There we are, got plenty of bodies. 40 frames a second with people standing around looking cool. Because looking cool is a thing. Yeah, the flickering you're seeing there is purely down to me running a rather unusual. Could you buff me with grid space freedom? Yeah, that's why it's still on my hotbar. I never use it personally, but there you go. You're welcome. There you go. So yeah, all looking good. This is definitely a visual improvement for me. If we uh, take a very close look at leaves and things on the ground, but that's sometimes easier to do if you get the camera onto the deck. Sort of like this. There we go, you can see leaves and such. And Gildy there, looking good. Z205 yet? He is. Have an uber buff. And... Have grid space freedom. And you too. Seeing as everybody asks for these buffs, I might become like Kane and just buff everybody. So yeah, you can see there that the, the nanos etc do look pretty good. I'm going to give him a couple more buffs just to show you what I mean by those. So let's give him that one. It's not very dramatic. Oh, there you go. BMOS. It's not a very dramatic looking nano, but it's pretty good. Let's give him NCU. There we go. And... I think that's his ult, but let's give him team invite as well. Okay, so we're now doing a much bigger nano. I think this one lights up everybody. Oh, 
Yeah, I think everybody got that. So, yeah, there we go. Still in the 60s with all that going on. And it's pretty much the same if you're in busy Inferno missions with lots of mobs and people casting all sorts of stuff. Seems to work well. So it's definitely working for me. Hopefully it can help you out a little bit with the stability. Like I say, the one place it does not fix, unfortunately, is Rome Red. No matter what I do, yep, I get the graphics crash or crash to desktop there all the time. Okay, folks. Bye for now.